Ramblin' Ribby, back with another video with Green Magic Garden, my friends. The only channel where you are not just a number. That is right, guys. So, let's get directly into the rundown. What do we got going on here, guys? 4x8 tent with two Spider Farmer SE 7000s, the most amazing coverage you can get in a 4x8 tent guys absolutely unreal so if you haven't been following this i will give you guys the rundown we have five gallon plastic um pots not filled up well plastic buckets they're not filled up all the way either because um if you guys know i have to go an hour just to get this stuff so i have to cheap out sometimes but um we have five one two three purple tie and that is three bears og and three bears og look at that freaking cola eh? they're all in hp pro mix guys and for the whole veg cycle we've been giving them um well all of these ones here for the whole veg cycle they started off with maxi grow that stuff right there and I show you guys every watering and every feeding. And when we just do waters, like plain water in between the feedings, we use this cow mag right there. But you can use any cow mag, guys. That's just the one I picked. And silica. And you can, again, you can use any silica, but I use this one right there. The NPK Raw. Because who doesn't like it raw, right? And then when they started flowering, we switched over to... The General Hydroponics 3-part. This is great stuff right there. Well, it's pretty good. I don't mind it. It works, guys. I'm sure there's better. It does um, tend to get a little bit of uh, salt buildup if you don't know what you're doing. So keep that in mind. Now, over to the good side. These are all in the same stuff in the Pro Mix I just showed you. But they are fed. These are all fed black swallow dry amendments you guys can't get it so there's no point of showing it it's uh granulated dry amendments amazing i think it is better than gaia green but the gaia green duo guy guys is just as good this stuff right here get yourself some of this 444 and this stuff right here the 284 and in between the the waterings and the um well, actually, you only give them water because, you know, obviously, they're not getting synthetic nutrients. Um, when you water them a couple times a week, which I show you guys, give them CalMag and MPK, like I just showed you. Which, we have some over here. So, what we're going to be doing today, and guys, remember, be sure to comment and like. It enters you. I'm picking one video every month, guys. At the end of every month, one random video out of the 16 videos that I make a month. So you don't, I never know which one, and then I'll use the random comment picker, and boom, two of you guys will get a $50 card each. So be sure to comment and drop a like, guys. And my email will be posted below. Same with Spider Farmer and Green Saudi Trim Tray. If you want to help the channel out, you can get yourself a trim tray. It'll be right at the bottom. And my email, guys. If you need help with absolutely anything at all, and I mean anything, you guys can just reach out and email me. Help, pick out your equipment, anything, guys. So, now, what's going to happen today? I don't have enough made right yet. Well, I'm not going to make you guys watch that all. So, we have cow mag. It's got some dirt in it because there was dirt on the cup for the last one. But a couple of these girls need to be watered a little bit. You know what? I think they could all use one cup. I think they could all use one cup, guys. So, um... It's pH 6.2, it seems to be my lucky number. Oh yes, and then um, one thing I wanted to point out too, the only thing I don't like about this strain, guys, 
Look at how dinky the lower branches are. So Saturday, I'm going to, um, I'm getting the five gallon. I'm gonna, I thought these would be done in time to get those ones, to use those um, five gallon pails, but no, maybe the cats are munching. <laughs> But um, I'm gonna go get them this weekend, guys, and we're gonna transplant them, and then I'm gonna start bending them over so all these lobers can all catch up. But we're gonna remove them. We'll probably do that tomorrow or the next day. I'll get that on film for you guys. We'll remove from here down. I like them. They're just definitely a little bit different kind of structure on these plants. So yeah, one cup for each of these guys. And then the bigger ones are gonna get two liters. They're gonna get two liters each today. So if you're following along and you're trying to follow closely, like I said, each of these, every single one of them, two liters, just plain water, nothing else in it, no cow mag, nothing pH'd around. 6.1, 6.2. So I'm not gonna make you watch all of that. Each of these got one um, cup, 500 milliliters. I'll get the ones in the back after, but let me give you guys one last shot of these. Looking nice. Look at the leaves on that one. They need to be transplanted, guys. I can't lie, I like the structure of these ones better. The DTF, these are and lights out. No, DTF and lights out. That's it guys, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment if you want to be entered. And the engagement has been out of the, it's been through the roof guys. All because of you guys, man, thank you. I encourage you guys. New subscribers, keep commenting man, I love hearing from you guys. Don't be shy man, there's 5,000 of you guys man. I want to hear you guys, I want to see you guys man, comment. Fire emoji, anything man. Shout out, tell us where you're from. Man, you win yourself 50 bucks. We'll be back in a day or two. And we are back. Let's turn these lights down. All right guys, so this weekend, I really need to transplant these. They're getting huge. They're droopy right now, they need some water. But, um, We have some water pH'd at 6.2. How can I do this? <laughs> Jeez, man. I'm thinking about setting up like a little plant station in my closet, like setting up a real awesome area with proper photography lights, guys, like on each side coming down. Um, table in the middle, some soundproofing around it. Like, really go all out. Like, I really want to start taking this channel as serious as I can. So, they're really starting to eat up a lot. So, they're going to get almost a liter each today, guys. About three quarters of a liter. Like they're really drinking. Tomorrow, we're gonna come back and we're gonna clean up all the bottoms. I did these two. We're gonna do them all. And shit, we got a lot to do this week, man. Like these, actually no, next week, these will be top dressed. So I keep thinking they've been in here for so long, but they haven't. Man. So, I'm not gonna see, like, you guys are not gonna be able to really see. I'll do the other four when I shut the camera off. We have the updates on Monday. It is Thursday, guys. So it's been four days. Look at the size of these leaves, too. They're huge. Guys, a good look at these ones. Ooh, shut this light right out. Man, buddy, the guy who kept saying, I think this one's gonna impress you. 
I bent it over myself, guys, a little bit so it wasn't so close to the light. Look at the size of that. It's like becoming the size of my freaking arm. Look at these lowers. That's crazy. And then this one here. That's a big plant, man. It's turning out really nice. It's not as um, dense as I'd like. Actually, <laughs> it is pretty dense. But I would like it to be, you know, you always want it to be a little bit denser, don't you? So, but yeah, there, she, there they are, guys. These are not going to get any water today. They're still good from the last one. They could, they could use a little bit. But uh, we'll get on that tomorrow for sure. And we'll feed these girls. So, we'll be back. Hello, guys, and we are back. Man, I just I can't, words can't even explain how happy I've been lately, guys, how this channel has been coming. When I first started this channel, you know, I had every intention of reaching a good amount of subscribers, but the engagement and how awesome you guys are, I would have never, I would have never dreamed in a million years, man. So I know I repeat myself a lot and I will continue to repeat myself because you guys are amazing. So, and I encourage you guys, I keep heavily encouraging you guys to comment. There's so many of you guys watching this right now that haven't commented. All you gotta do is leave a fire emoji. Let me know where you're from. Man, a lot of guys from Scotland, a lot of guys from Michigan, um, a lot of guys from Germany, a lot of people from everywhere, guys. And it's so, it's so cool talking to you guys, man. So come on, don't be shy, comment guys. I want to talk to you guys. But um, we'll keep this shorter today. I was going to do all this today, guys, but we're gonna transplant tomorrow. We're gonna transplant these girls tomorrow in a five gallons. So why not just wait? So what we're doing is every one of these is getting two liters. And what I have done, guys, okay, now, um, from checking that runoff on the last one, the nice looking plant that's doing well, it was at 5.8 when I took the pH. The other ones, the other one was at 6.2 guys. So what I'm thinking is happening is like, how's it getting a deficiency when it's got enough food in there, the pH seems right. I'm like, hmm, I was, I thought it was gonna have a lot um, salt buildup and there'd be the pH or the ppm would be way way high but what I think is happening guys is it's locking out the potassium or phosphorus because of the higher level of pH so I'm going to try to um, drop the pH a little bit because like even Bill Ward is like you're supposed to be at 5.8 this is cocoa and peat it's not soil so um, we're going to try dropping the pH a little, guys, and see if it helps. These ones are all fine, but before we run into an issue. So, what I did was, now that you see how dark all these are, and they're getting close, especially this one. I cut out almost all nitrogen. I literally put the tiny, maybe like a tablespoon of nitrogen into this, and then um, I mixed everything else full dose, but I put almost twice the amount of bloom uh, nutrients in there. So really heavy on the, it's pretty much a PK boost. I pretty much made a PK boost. <coughs> Ginger. <laughs> oh man, I'm like, what is going on behind me? But uh, it's pretty much like I made my own PK boosting little um, um, concoction here. It is Friday guys. This goes up next Monday. So, and bananas on this side, as you guys know, are organic. So, organic, Hispanic, um, Titanic. I'm trying to rhyme. I'm the worst rhymer, apparently. All right, guys, so two each in each one. I'm not going to make you guys watch every um, watering because this is going to be a long video because tomorrow we got the transplanting 
But I'll do that same thing for each one. Tomorrow we got the transplanting and lollipopping of these girls. I'll do one right now. Just to show y'all. I need to keep it up out of the soil because it's been getting into the soil, which is not good. It's a good recipe for bugs. So, there you have it, guys. We'll be back tomorrow, and I'll get a time lapse of the whole uh, transplanting and all that. I'll show you guys the mix and all that, so we'll be back. And hello, my friends. We are back you know we're back so <laughs> say hi gingy boy hi gingy boy now i think i was a little confused what i was talking about just earlier guys in the video about how it's um pk possibly i'm i'm thinking it's more because at the higher ph you would be able to absorb that better so i'm i don't know guys i'm kind of confused it's either calcium magnesium or phosphorus and or potassium but clearly it has to be like you would think it would be one of those ones but um but so holy did you guys just see that orb go by holy crap lots of spirits around me like i said so um i hope you guys can see this is pretty good wow there's all kinds of orb i hope all you guys come in peace all right, guys, you, see, you can see that pretty good. This is the Nanas. This would be the perfect time to take a clone, you know. If you wanted to clone that, you would strip all that. It doesn't matter if you cut it on a 45 degree angle, but it actually creates more surface area. So it will help, but it doesn't matter. And then you'd get rid of those two and then you would snip, 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 snip. I'll show you guys, You're, you guys are gonna see. I'm gonna have five minute or less videos showing all that stuff. So, it's gonna be pretty easy to do these guys. Um, that, and then that's gonna be the end of the video because I don't, if I start transplanting, it's gonna go on forever. So we're going to let them bounce back for a day because I don't want to stress them out with this and then go and transplant them too. It's just double whammy. I know they'd be fine, but why not just take it easy? We'll let them bounce back from this for a day and then we will, uh, then we'll go ahead and we'll transplant. And then because I got, um, oh, I bought eight more five gallon pails. So I'm going to show you guys how I put the holes in it, all that tomorrow. Um, well, you guys won't see it tomorrow. You guys will see it the following Monday. But you see that? You see these two at the top from topping it? I'm going to start to bend those down. It's going gonna, it's gonna to work out nice, guys. So we'll get on to the next one. Oh, she's a bushy freak. Look at that. So many people from Scotland, man. Oh, so awesome. Cooling is my last name. C-O-U-L-I-N-G. It's pronounced cooling. Like cool. Because I'm so cool. That's why you guys follow me. This is the people's channel, guys. Green Magic Gardening, the people's channel. Someone who's calling me, he said, I call you the people's gardener. I'm like, oh man, I love that. But what about the people's channel I'm, this is the people's channel so i like that i really like that that's cool and yes i am the people's gardener guys i'm telling you between all of the comments and the amount of emails i get filming everything i do every like day during the grows it is it's a lot of work it's a really lot of work am i complaining hell no 
I know it looks like I took a lot off there, but this is a very tall plant, guys. We're not going to need anything that down there. The growth has just been unreal. Um, I definitely think um, Black Swallow is a little hotter than I thought. I don't think you need to go five tablespoons or three tablespoons per gallon. I think you can get away more closer to two because I'm seeing burnt tips on a lot of my plants. So, but they're very healthy overall. Now we're on to a DTA. It's a total different strain and yet there's some marks on it guys because I've been spraying them down with this stuff. It does kill thrips because I have seen more thrips again. Black bean. You'd be surprised how many people have them. Like I said, they don't usually cause that much of a problem. And I just seen a guy's channel the other day, he had them too, and he said the same thing. It's like they grow out of it, but they can take right over, guys. Like I've had plants with thrips, and then all of a sudden, later stages in life, they just disappear. But um, I'm starting to think it's the black swallow, the black swallow living soil. And leaving them like this, guys, I would have stripped these down way sooner, but I wanted to get it all on video for you guys, right? So leaving them like that does not help. It's so close to the soil, shit can get out. But um, I'm pretty sure I've taken care of the problem. They've been there the whole time. I know that they have been. I just know they have been, but they just do not, um, like I said, I only found a couple and I've been scanning and scanning and scanning. Uh, this tent with the four organic ones in it, I soaked her down, giving her two good treatments. And uh, I'm very happy. I think that uh, well, so far this tent, there's none. And yeah, I don't see any, any uh, signs of thrips on any of these uh, DTF or lights out. And I'm not sure. But DTF or Lights Out, one of these strains, guys, I can't remember which one it was, is literally immune to uh, powdery mildew. I'm not kidding you. I wish I could remember what one it was because that is so um, helpful in some situations. Like, in some people always get it where they grow outdoors, right? And um, you want to get strains that are more resilient? I'm telling you, one of these strains, I had it right in there when I had powdery mildew and it was everywhere. Every single plant had it, except for one of the lights out in DTF. I can't, like I said, I can't remember which one though. And um, just didn't even phase it. I'm gonna take off a little, little more. And then later in the week, we'll go and we'll strip, um, we'll take some leaves off and stuff when we do the training, right? So. It's a beauty. I'm gonna do one more for you guys of the uh, lights out since we did DTF and then we'll, uh, we'll call it a day. Well, yeah, you would see like, you'd see all that crap if there was like trips, the trips were bad. But I, like I said, I seen a couple, I did find a couple. So um, I put some diatomaceous earth in the plant that I know it was coming from, and I'm positive it's coming from that freaking living soil. And I just watered these yesterday, guys. Like, I don't believe I got it on film. No, I didn't. I didn't film it, but I just watered these yesterday, and already they need more. So thank God they'll be needing a better transplant. Bad. Look at how bushy that is. This is the lights out. And yes, guys, we're cloning every plant because I, I can't remember which ones were the beautiful. Like these strains, lights out in DTF were amazing. So we'll keep the pheno, best pheno of each one. Which, you know, it'd be good to be taking the, the clones right now, but no need because we got lots of time yet and I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to, um, do a lot more and grow these out a lot bigger yet. So uh, we got plenty of time to take clones. I can't remember, there's some other stuff I wanted to touch on with you guys. There you have it guys. Um, you guys will see when I clone too. I've had a 100% success rate with my clones. They always take, I'll show you guys all the proper tools you need, exactly how to do it. Um, 
It's really easy, guys. It's really easy, and from now on, like I said, we're gonna be, this channel's taking a different direction. We're gonna be doing more organic, dry amendments, because like, you can't argue the results. And we're gonna be doing clones. Especially, like, you've seen how fast these grew, guys, and the nanas. Imagine how fast the clones are gonna grow. It's gonna be unbelievable. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got going on in here. There, rambling, rambling, riblet. Look at this freaking thing. Guys, I'm not digging this weed that much, though. Like, it's. This one's better. Here, let me shut this off and we'll take a look. Oh, it's the wrong one. Hey, what the hell? I thought there's two. I thought there's two switches. But I guess there's not. It's not too bad. Maybe it will like, what do you guys think I should, can do to boost the trichomes? And remember the leaves that were, um, Fading right out. Look at the greens trying to come back in them. I think that's so cool when it does that. Look at this one. I, when they get too yellow, they can't fully come back. But that one is in good enough shape that it's going to come all the way back. These are definitely a longer flower time. More on the sativa side. But what do you guys think we can do to boost them? Get them a little more solid and a little more, some more trichomes. Now these rock solid guys purple tie rock solid and they're all filling in nice they're gonna be smaller popcorn like buds but look at them they're beautiful they're gonna turn out really nice i do not mind trimming that at all so that should be the thumbnail that'd be cool but so guys Every one of them is getting two liters today. All of the ones in the big pots are getting two liters. And these ones over here are not going to get anything because we're going to transplant them tomorrow. So two liters, but with barely any nitrogen, guys. So I'll probably cut it out all together, to be honest. That's going to be it. Make sure you go hit there. The hell's on my fingers? <laughs> Press there, go check to make sure your notifications are on, and then go there, and go there. Sorry for repeating myself. Love you guys, and sorry for the long video. Signing off.